Hi, my name's Dan Jenkins and I'm from Science and Plants for Schools and I'm here today to show you another easy and reliable practical uh, to use with plants. Uh, today we're going to look at the Venus flytrap and we're going to look at its fantastic adaptation so it will link nicely to your adaptation topics in your curriculum. The Venus flytrap has got a particularly extreme adaptation where it's modified its leaf into these traps which close and trap flies. The investigation is all about working out if these plants can count and how they uh, sense the flies in the trap. Uh, as you can probably see, there are hairs around the outside of the traps and these aren't actually the triggers that trigger off the trap to close. There's much smaller hairs on the inside of that trap and what you can get your students to do is to work out by using a forcep or a pencil uh, which hairs it is that cause the trap to close. If you get them to do the outer trap and tap it once, you'll find nothing happens. If they do the inner hairs and tap once, nothing will happen. But if you do two taps to the inner hair in close succession, so two taps within 15 seconds, you'll find that the trap closes because it needs that number of taps for it to close. Venus fly traps are easily available from garden centres and DIY shops and they're quite cheap now. Uh, this is a brilliant investigation to get your students thinking about um, uh, an excellent adaptation and how it works. We've got full details as to how this practical can be set up and notes for the students and worksheets, notes for the teachers and technicians on our website. Uh, saps.org.uk. We've got loads of other ideas, so go have a look.